Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Catapult Diaries. This is me, Captain Benny Van FM, taking over VVV Venlo, hoping to conquer Dutch football and then obviously become the kings of the European stage as well. So far, so good. We're on episode number three. We haven't won a game yet, well, brought live, but we've been playing absolutely out of our skin still in the league and offline. It, it's, it's been a weird one. The games I've brought you, we've drawn 1-1 and then we draw, drew 0-0 in the last game against AZ Alkmaar. But since that game against AZ Alkmaar, we have gone unbeaten again. So we haven't actually lost a single game of football for many, many months now. It's going absolutely incredible. Let me just show you how I've been getting on. Well, we've only played a couple of games since we were actually together, and I mean a couple, I mean by three. We followed up the 0-0 draw against AZ with a 3-1 result over FC Den Bosch. This was in the cup in the second round of the, how do you pronounce it? It's the KNVB Biga second round. No idea what that means. But anyway, we played a mixture of our first team and second team for this one just to get us through because these are on the league below us. So I didn't want to put too much of an understrength team out and lose because I want us to do quite well in this cup. But anyway, goals from Alexander Butner and Yvette Lindhurst. Double got us a 3-1 victory after going 1-0 behind. It did get a little bit squeaky bum, but we got through in the end. But we were back in the league and it was the start of the new month and it was November. And what a result... 3-0 against FC Emin. I know a lot of you might be saying, well, it's FC Emin, but it's 3-0 away from home against these teams that apparently are around about the same kind of quality that we are. So to get a 3-0 result against them is absolutely massive. Roel Janssen coming in at left back for a suspended Alexander Butner. John Yeboah scoring in an absolute worldie. And Marley Watkins getting on the score sheet all before the break. 3-0, it was a game set and match. And in the last game, which was about two weeks ago, because we've had an international break on the game, we played FC20. Yes, former Steve McLaren's FC20 and former winners of this competition. And we battered them by three goals to one. Can you believe how we are actually playing, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? Yeboa, Brewster and Livet all on the score sheet before the half hour they got a goal back in the second half. We did lose Niles Rosler, though, at the back, and we are struggling for central defenders for this episode. Because this leads us up to the games today. We're now in December. I was going to bring you the final game. We're second in the league, and we're going to be playing Utrant, who are top of the table as well. If I'm saying that wrong, please tell me in the description, in the comments below. Because I had to go into Google, and Google says that this is called Utrecht. That's what we're going with. And then we're going to be playing FC Groningen, which I know how to pronounce because they played Aston Villa in a friendly a couple of years ago and absolutely spanked us. I think it was when Team Shearer was in charge. But anyway, two games today because we haven't done that much and there's not much news to bring you. So let's get straight on with the action. It's the top of the table clash between FC Untracked and VVV Venlo. Let's do it. But before we actually shoot onto the game, we don't want to go too quickly. But Captain Birdie Man, we want to see how we are doing in the standings. And at this moment in time, we are one point above PSV, who's sitting in third. I actually sitting in fourth, and then it's us in second, and it's Untracked, who are top. And they are absolutely flying. Six points ahead of us, same as in the last episode, PSV and Ajax. Well, Ajax, actually, I'm just looking at them. I've played 14 games and we've played 13 and they're in fourth position. PSB, though, on the other hand, two games behind us and Untracht at the top of the table. So they could push themselves up towards the top end, probably go above us if they win their games in hand. But I don't think they've got enough to catch. No, there's seven points in, in it. So they haven't got enough to catch the top of the table. But it's going to be a tight one as we go into the new year. As I said, there is a there is a winter break in the middle of December, well, in the latter stages of December. And we only get to play two games in January. So February is when we're going to be coming back next. So this is it. Game day is upon us. They're in excellent form. We're very strong, apparently. I'm just going to say that there's nothing between us this season. And I'm, I'm expecting a good performance from us. The only problem is, like I said, we're struggling in defence for injuries and for suspensions. So things are not actually that great, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Even, not even actually that great. Things are actually terrible. We have not got a single first team choice 
for our back four. I mean, our right back, Decker, is out. We've got the two centre halves, which is already Shafter and Rosler. They're both suspended. And then we've got Butner, who's also injured at left back. So it's a makeshift central defence, I'm not going to lie. That last game against FC20, Rosler got sent off in the 91st minute when we were 3-1 up. That's the most disappointing part of it. And then we've got Neodecker as well, who got injured in the last game as well. And a lot of our central midfielders are lacking match sharpness. And then obviously we've got the three main people up front. So this is going to be the team today. It's Grush Brown. That's what we're going to go with. I've been trying to pronounce his name for the last three episodes and I've come up with something different every time. But for this now, it is Torsten Krishbauer. That's what we're going with. And then it's Tobias Bocicnik. And then it's Van Buten Kom, who's normally a left back or a right back. He's now going to have to fit in at centre half. I put him in in front of the two youngsters because he's 33 and just feel like he might just be able to just come in and do an half decent job. And then you've got Janssen at left back. And then we've got Catamol and Nita. So this is the first time you're going to get to see Vernon and Nita as well. Uh, Linthurst in the middle with Watkins, Yeboah, and Brewster. As I said, not our starting 11. Going to be a struggle. Let's go and try and do it. We are at home though, so that gives us a bit of an advantage. So they're going for a 4-1-2-2-1 system. Exactly the same as ours. So no wonder they've been performing well, because we've been performing well as well. Um, having a look at their players, I don't really know anyone. I'm not going to lie, so I'm not going to go into them and try and figure out who's going to be their danger man. We're just going to have to play and just find out. Uh, as always, on the Team Talk, I'll come in there. I will always come in passionately, and I will say, go and give the fans their money's worth, and then come individually with each player. And just say to them, nice and calmly. I believe in you. A couple of nervous players in there. Christian Combe, he will be nervous. He's playing out of position and he's in the biggest game of the lot. And they get the game underway. We are shooting from left to right in our traditional yellow and black. They are in their traditional red and white, I believe. Yes, ball goes out of play. FM is definitely now doing kickoffs again. First highlight though does come to Untracked and the ball goes into the box. Catamol does well. I've got a feeling... There's going to be a lot of backs against the wall today in this match. And we're already 1-0 down after three minutes. And our makeshift defence has been broken already. And, oh God, this is going to be episode number three. And I've got a feeling I'm not going to be able to bring you a single win just yet from the games that I've decided to bring you. And we're possibly doing the best that Venlo have ever done in the Dutch League. 12 minutes in, and there's another highlight here. We've not got off the bus just yet. Uh, and here come out right now. Are they going to get shot on goal? It's Van v Overeem, and he puts it Van Overeem. Was that Alistair's brother? Christ on a bike. We have got our set young central defenders on the bench. So if push comes to shove and Christy Cum is not having the best game in the world at central defence, then we could always bring someone on who is a youngster. Uh, but at the moment, it's not even the defence's fault. They are literally running wild and, oh, it's 2-0. And things are not going great. And we're supposed to be the second best team in the league at the minute. And these are top and they are killing us. Our defence again, Janssen's beaten to the ball. It's a massive uphill challenge now. Just pause the game for one second. I am going to go and give a shout out here. Give a bit of encouragement. See if we can change something up. Because, yeah, we've not really done much, have we? To say we've just come off a 3-1 victory over FC20. This is not the best performance we've ever had. And I don't care if we haven't got much of a defence or a midfield. We should still be doing a little bit better at home. And here comes Linthurst now. It just gives the ball away in the middle. And it looks like these could just break. Is that going to be a corner? It is. And the pressure continues. And we're struggling here. We are struggling. 27 minutes on the clock. And this is the most we've struggled in any game this season so far. We've not been down by this many goals as well in a single game, I don't think. Oh, possibly the PSV game. And that's the only one we've, we've lost this season so far. And that was a 3-1 defeat. So hopefully we can try and get back into this. Anita does well there. Again, a lot of players playing not in their favoured positions. And for the first time. So Anita goes for the ball over the top. And it's a lovely pass. And Rhea Bruce is on this. Can Bruce put it away? It's a massive chance for us. And it's a real first big chance. Oh, and he hits it straight at the goalkeeper. And after a bit of a... Oh, Watkins puts it. Well, I was just saying, after a bit of a slump, 
In front of goal, Brewster, he has been scoring for fun in recent weeks. Five minutes to go before the break. We have brought ourselves back into this game a little bit, though. So I'm hoping if we can get one more highlight before the break, then we might have a chance. I'm just saying that as they get a highlight. He does hit here. He goes straight down the goalkeeper's neck. And I don't think that's the end of the highlight here. We've got a chance here. And here comes Come now coming forward. <laughs> well, that was a good choice of putting him in at centre-half, wasn't it? Um... Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is all over, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What is he doing? I think we're going to be making a change at the break. I mean, we've gifted him. I mean, to say he was he was, he was nervous before the match, he needs to be nervous at half time because I'm going to absolutely give him hell. Because he's absolutely rubbing. He's off, for starters. Get off the pitch. I've made the change. Mitchell Van Rosmalen is coming on for Christian Coma, and I've told the players that they stink, so they better be back up for it in the second half. Got nothing to lose. And we should be really playing better this second half, but we're not so far. And here come Untracked again. I hope I'm still saying that correctly. Google Translate, do not let me down. They go for another shot, and it does go wide. I'm just dribbling on here and talking absolute nonsense while they are absolute battering us. And Cork, on the right-hand side, has just missed an absolute sitter to give himself the hat-trick. I think it's time for some subs, because we've done absolutely nothing in this second half. We're going to get Brewster off, and we're just going to put Jerome Sinclair up top. We're going to get Linters off, and we're going to get Danny Post on as well. These are players as well that I haven't really been playing this season. Sinclair and Post and not been in the first team too much. Can't believe we did that just before half-time. Christian, come. Oh, terrible player. Here comes Marley Watkins. I just need us to get a goal. Get a goal, and it might just turn things around a little bit. And here comes Marley Watkins now. He's going forward. Big chance for us here. Big save by the goalkeeper. Really needed that to go in if we were going to have any, any, any chance today. 20 minutes, or just over 20 minutes to go. Danny Post with the header away, and here comes Cherney now. Cherney's coming forward. Puts the ball to the box. It's a big, big tackle. But he's given a penalty. Oh, I don't believe it. And there's the hat trick. And we haven't just lost. We've been absolutely battered. I think, I think it's fair to say that our first team is our strongest team. Because <laughs> we don't have much in reserve, do we? Maybe we could just turn... Oh, God almighty, it's five. <laughs> oh, oh, no. We've been doing so well this season, and it's 5-0. This is supposed to be the top of the table clash. We were supposed to be happy in this episode. But we're going to go down by five goals to nil. And hopefully we don't concede any more here. I'm just going to let them play it out. I've got nothing to say to the lads. It's five. And just no one gets sent off. We can't be doing any more suspensions or injuries or anything. And he's through. And oh my God, this could be six. I mean, they've, they've killed us. They've absolutely run wild on us today. And there's nothing we can do about it. There's going to be another strike here, is there? He's offside, ref, please. No, it's goal kick. We've survived. That back four. Hmm. I mean, Janssen's not had the best game at left back. <laughs> Their right midfielders absolutely had a field day out there. We just need to get off the pitch and put this one to bed. I really do believe that. I have to tell the players, I, mean, I am disappointed in the way that they've played today because we've not actually even been on any level being on the same page as these, even though we have... Most of our players out missing. Like I said, the all of the back four were out either injured or suspended and we were missing New Decker as well and he's a massive miss in that centre centre mid position. But here we come anyway. Can we get a consolation? Watkins. That sums up the day. Come on, referee. I just want this game to finish. 90 minutes on the clock. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, it's six. We're losing 6-0. <laughs> <laughs> ah man he's just banged it in from about 30 yards I don't think I've ever lost 6-0 on camera before I'm not going to lie <laughs> can we get a goal come on here comes Marley Watkins is he going to put it in the box he does better than he we still can't score end this game quickly 
I don't need this in my life. We've just come off a 3-1 victory away from FC20. I can't believe that we've just been beaten 6-0. 6-0. Disappointed? Absolutely. I've just told Luke Nellis to just take it. Chrissy Cullen looked to, looked to have switched off. Switched off. The bloke that got put in for the first time this season and was absolutely dreadful. Switches off. Unbelievable. So there's confirmation of the 6-0 defeat. That's our only our second defeat of the season so far. Let's just get straight on to the next game. Forget about this one. It's FC Groningen. We're going to go and go there and we're going to get a victory. Come on, boys. What a week, eh? What a week for Christian Cum. Also, the worst trainer at the club. Do you know what? I'm just done with you. I'm disappointed in your training lately. You're right. I am bloody right. Do you know what, Christian, lad? I don't even want you at the club anymore. Get out! Get out of my football club. You're 34 years of age now. I'm offering you out. I don't give a shit. You are going on the transfer list. I don't want you at the club. Any prize would be... I would take. Do you know what? Anything. Around 30 grand. There you go. Someone bloody take him off my hands because I don't want him. Surprise, surprise. Nobody bloody wants him. I mean, who would? He's absolutely bloody rubbish. <laughs> I hate Christian Cum. There, I've said it. And game day is upon us, second of the episode, and it is BVV Venlo away from home, and we're playing FC Groningen. Come on, they're eighth in the league, they're inconsistent. Come on, we just need to put that 6-0 behind us and go back to winning ways. Now Rosler is back at central defence, which is obviously a huge, huge boost for us, but John Yeboah has got the flu. <sighs> Can't catch a break at the minute, so we're going to have to stick someone else at left side of midfield. So this is what we're going to go with, actually, because Catamol is not fit. I've just had a quick look at him, and he's struggling for fitness out there. So we're not going to rush him back, because he's also been injured as well in the last couple of weeks. I think there's been a bit of a um, a bit of a bug going around the team, so there's quite a few players being out with the flu. Uh, but this is the team that we're going to go with, and this is what I think is possibly our strongest one we've got uh, available to us. It's Grush Bauer in goal. And then we've got Decker who's back from suspension or from injury. And then we've got Van Bruggen, Rosler and Janssen at left back. We've got Post in midfield with Van Oyden, Lindhurst, Watkins. And then we're actually going to be playing one of our youngsters, Justin Gronen, who is just being promoted from our under-19s development centre after being saying that our development centre was telling us he needs to be promoted to the first team so I'm happy to have him on board and then we've got Riyad Brewster up top come on boys I know we can do this today come on let's do it again same formation as what we've got I'm not going to go into it too much detail I don't really know many players on there so we're just going to go straight into the game come on I'm going to do what I always say to the players I'm not going to change the way that I go and approach things I'm going to tell the lads to give the fans a performance that they expect and then also come in nice and calmly and say to them that I believe in everything. Everyone's looking good. Everyone's looking happy and listening keenly. No nervous players out there today. Christian, come, we'll never play again. We get the game underway. Come on, this is it. This is it. Let's get back to winning ways. That's 6-0. That is not a reflection of our season so far. Saying that so far, it's been all Groningen. And we've just got to try and weather the storm here. But here comes the youngster, um, Gronen. And it's Gronen now who's coming forward with it. He finds Lindhurst. Lindhurst now will find Janssen on his left-hand side. Oh, I was hoping for a penalty there. Fantastic tackle from the right back. But he then just gives the ball away with a poor pass. And it was post to Lindhurst. Can he find the people on the left-hand side? He does. And it comes Janssen now. Janssen, can he get the ball into the box this time? He can. It's Watkins and he should be scoring. Marley, lad. Come on. Much better than the last game. <laughs> Let's just say that. We're already had more shots than them. They've had better possession than us, which is quite unusual because we do tend to do quite well when it comes to possession. Coming up to half hour on the clock, and can we somehow get a goal before the break? We do not want to concede here. Ball goes into the box. It's headed away by the youngster, uh, Gronen, and it's Lundqvist now that picks it up. Can we get the ball back here and strike a counter-attack? don't think we're going to just yet. Yeah, Holler is on the ball now. Holler gives it back. And they're playing around with it a little bit. If they lose the ball in this position, they could be really in trouble here. But they don't. They play it nicely forward. Here comes Lundqvist. Big tackle, though. And here comes Post now. And he goes for a ball over the top. And it's not the best pass. That is not the best pass to get Brewster on it and running. He's offside. Surely referee. Surely referee. Surely referee. And he is. 
Then here we go once again now, 10 minutes ago before the break. The action has ramped up a little bit. It's gone up a couple of gears and here comes Post now and it gives a nice little pass out to Watkins. It's Marley Watkins. He's going to go for a strike. I think he didn't know what to do. It was either a strike or a cross and he kind of just messed it up in the end. Only a few minutes towards the break though. We do need to get that goal to just change things back up again. We just need to get back and get a bit of confidence flowing through our lads because I feel like that 6-0 has uh, kind of... Killed us a little bit. What a pass from the young lad there to Watkins. And then he finds Brewster. And this could be it. It's Ria Brewster. I said it was going to be it. But then he put it into Rose Ed. Oh, not a bad half. I'll take a nil-nil. But I feel like we should be 1-0 up. Just going to do like I always do at half time. Is I'm going to give Luke Nillis the opportunity to say a few words. And then we're going to get straight back out there. They get the game back underway for the second half. And can we get on it? There is a foul there, and that's for us. I'm, I've enjoyed look watching the youngster, uh, Gronin. He has done a decent job out there. He said he's on a 6.5, but I doubt that. I feel like he's had a pretty decent game, to be completely honest with you. Van Hoyden is on a 6.4. He's not been very good this season. And Van Bruggen is on a 6.3 at the back as well. We better than this. I know we are. And here comes Linhurst to Decker to Van Hoyden. Back to Linhurst to Decker. Decker to Van Bruggen. And he's just giving away again. He's not having the best game. He's a centre defender. And here they go. It's a massive save by the goalkeeper. And we have survived. And I'm thinking about getting him off, you know. He's on a 6.3 and he's not having the best game in the world. He really isn't. That was a shocking pass. And then he was slow getting back as well. And the highlight is not actually over. It is now. Here we go. Have we just survived a big, big scare? And are we going to strike while their tails are up? Linhurst, he gets a bit lucky there with the deflection back to him. And here comes Post now, who's played well, and he lovely pass. And it's Cronin, ah, oh, just not the best execution there from the youngster. And then our left back is literally running in sand. It's a massive chance, he's hit the post, he's come back off, he's put it into the back of the net. Oh! <laughs> what is going off? We were playing so well this season, and now we're playing rubbish. Ah, what is going off? A lovely pass. Oh, he's hit the post and it's come back out. And Shields has put it into the back of the net. Let's pause the game for a second and get some changes on. Right, the youngster on the left hand side, which I thought he was having a decent game, he's apparently having a bit of a shocker out there. And we're going to get right on. And what's his best position out there? Uh, we'll probably just keep him as an inverted winger for now and just have him coming in on the inside. Van Hoyden has just been absolutely rubbish all season. We're going to get Lee Catterball on and we're just going to swap these lads around. We're going to get Danny Post as the advanced playmaker because he can play that position. And Van Bruggen at central defence has just had an absolute shocker. He really, really has at the back. So we're going to get him off as well. And we're just going to give the youngster, uh, Mitchell Van Rosmalen, he's going to get the opportunity to play once again at central defence for us. But... We've got to pull this one back out of the bag and see if we can do something here. It's just, we're struggling. We are struggling to get a hold of this second half. We haven't even had a shot yet. And again, nothing on target from the lads. But here we go, 78 minutes on the clock. Can we pull something out of the bag here? We're not having, these two games have been the worst we've been all season. Here comes Post to right. And it's Hadji right now who loses the ball on that left-hand side. Can he win it back? No, he can't. And now they're going to, just going to go for a ball for over the top here and try and catch us out once again. Or are we going to win this back here? The answer is no, but we do get the ball back. It's poorly given away. Right. Ah, he hasn't played much this season. And then Janssen has dived in and he's going to get sent off because they always get sent off when it's this long and things are going from bad to worse and we were flying. Things are going bad. Things are starting to get bad. What do I even do? That is the question. So this is the formation we're going to go with. Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me what it is. Ball does go out wide. It's Zivuk. And Zivuk puts it in there. It's bounced around. And we've made a big save. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is a bit of a crushing episode. If I'm going to be completely honest with you. Can we pull something out of the bag with only minutes remaining? And the time is just ticking away. And they're going to get the win here, and we're going to we're going to stay fourth. But we need our players back. Alexandra Butner at left back has been absolutely massive losing him. It's Lindhurst now. That ball's going to go over his head, and when it's going over his head, the referee's going to blow for full time. 
the less we talk about it, the better, I'm going to say. I'm going to sympathise with the players. Going down to 10 men does not always help. Right, there we go. There's confirmation and our first real slump of the season. Two defeats in a row and I'm so happy that I brought it to you guys, eh? I've missed all those games in the first half of the year. Ah, and then I decided to bring you these two because I thought it was going to be an amazing episode. And it's come back to bite me on the backside, hasn't it? But we still sit in fourth position, so we can't complain. The only problem is we just don't score many goals, it looks like, because we've only got a goal difference of nine plus, And we're sitting in fourth position. Look at this, some of the teams around us. Much, much higher. Right, where do we come back next? Well, I'm actually thinking that we come back now for the games in February. It's Ajax and PSV Eidhoven. It's two massive games. I am bringing you the games, right, ladies and gentlemen, that I want you to watch. So I want you to watch the bigger teams in our first season just to see how we get on against them. And then as we go through the seasons, I will then start pick a few games where I know they're big in, our, in terms, but we can get a victory as well. But for now, for these first episodes in this first season, I want us to play the big boys and I want to see what our team's like. So we might lose a few, we might win a few, we might draw a few. But at the moment, it's been two defeats and two draws so far. So uh, it's not, it doesn't look like I'm having a good time. But if you just look at this, I'm, I'm having an absolute whale of a time, if I'm going to be honest with you. But we just need to get back onto winning ways. Feyenoord are next and then it's a cup game. And then Herovine, and then we're back round to the first games of the season once again. And like I said, then it's Ajax and PSV that I'll be bringing you in the next episode. So hopefully we can get back to winning ways and get over the slump, get back a few of our big names and get back into the first team because we definitely, definitely need them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up and share amongst everyone on every platform that you can think of because we want to get it out to as many people as possible. want to give a big, huge shout out to Passion 4 FM. They continue to sponsor me and support me throughout my Football Manager 20 adventures. And these series are going up on their site and on their Twitter page. And they're going to push it out to as many people as they possibly can. And I'll be working with them as well to push their content out. But also I will be putting their uh, details in the description below. So if you do want to go and check out Passion for FM, there's the website, there's the Facebook, there's the Twitter page. But most importantly, there's this the Discord channel where you can interact with other members of our Football Manager community. All you need to do is press the link below. And it will give you an invitation to our page and you'll automatically be there. Right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to stay updated with my stuff, then go and follow me at Captain Man FM on Twitter. But also, I would love for you to subscribe to my videos on YouTube. So just go and click on my name right there. Go to my page and press the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on your notifications as well. It would mean a lot if you could do that for me. Thanks very much. Well, I will be back for another episode. It's going to be Ajax and PSV. Hopefully we can pull one out of the bag and just put this one to bed because it's not been a great one, has it? Bye-bye. <laughs>